Hi, and welcome to ISPI. Today I'm gonna make a LED Christmas decoration which can be hung on the wall or on a window. I started by making a model of the acrylic disc with the engraving on it. For the engraving I took a suitable picture and converted it to a vector graphic with Inkscape. Then I used this vector graphic to create the engraving on my model. I made the engraving just 0.3 mm deep. Then I run the simulation as always. When the simulation showed that everything is correct, I generated the G-code and saved it to my MPCNC. Next I loaded the G-code and let it run. The whole disk took over two and a half hours to mill. And the G-code was over 600,000 lines long because the engraving was made with the engraving bit with a 0.1 mm tip and the feed rate was 1000 mm per minute. I was afraid to melt the acrylic so the spindle speed was also not too fast. The RPM was 12000. I designed a holder for the LED strip, which goes around the disc. I designed it as three parts. I done that because every time I make a 3D model for 3D printing, I try to design my models so they don't need support. Here you can see my design of the ring. There is a front ring, a back ring and a middle ring that can be slided in the grooves of the other two rings and hold everything together. And here you can see where the LED strip will sit. The dotted line represents the LED strip. And you will see at the end of the video why I made these noses on top of the rings. Then it was time to bring everything together. There is a 12 volt power supply a LED strip, my engraved disc and of course my 3D printed rings. First I slided the middle ring on one of the other rings to see if everything works properly. And guess what? It worked! Then I soldered the wires to the RGB LED strip. I wanted that the LED strip glows in a greenish blue. So I soldered the ground wire to the blue and the green solder points and the 12 volt to the plus point. Next I set the LED strip in place, removed all the protective film pieces from the disc and set it in place to see if everything fits. For the final assembly, 
I have put all three rings together and slided the lead strip in place before I placed the disc in. Then I tested it for the first time and it looked so nice. To close the gap on top of the rings I printed another three pieces with the same profile as the rings. I mounted the middle ring and the new small pieces overlapping so they will be held in place. Then I used two zip ties to secure everything. And that's why I made these noses on top of the rings and the hole in the disc. It looks so great when it glows, and even better when it's dark. To hang it up I printed a small hanger with a S-shaped hook to feed the cable through. And last but not least I added a connector so I can use the power supply or even a battery pack to let it glow. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the notification bell and stay tuned for future projects. See ya!